She says, I'm not a rose, but let's find out. Sophia, good morning. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tony Car? How are you doing? This is your girl, Sophia Brown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What is this, I'm not a rose? What exactly do you mean by I'm not a rose? You're not here. I'm like a rose. Yeah, you... I'm like a rose blooming in the garden. The more I glow, you can see the beauty in me. Right. <laughs> Tell me a little about I'm not a rose. Um, well, that song came about um, when I was going through. Um, I was with someone at the time, and all they were kept saying, uh, you're too beautiful and blah, blah, and you're full of yourself and whatever. Mm. You know, so I was, I was like, you know, I was like, I'm a rose. I'm <laughs> blooming in the garden. The more I glow, you can see the beauty in me. Yeah. You know, that I spring all year round, and that's how I will be. The beauty I possess is what set me free, you know. So, mm. um if you can't handle that, well, too bad. <laughs> and he couldn't handle it, huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> Sophia, he couldn't handle it. <laughs> Sophia, how long have you been singing? You know, I've been singing um, since 1993, professionally. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, you would call that like 17 years, 18 years, if, you, if, if I'm getting it right. Mm -hmm. Just about. And why haven't we heard about Sophia Brown? until recently well uh let's let's put it this way um i i when i get started in this business i didn't know much about the business um didn't seek um a, a manager didn't seek a, a, a producer per se i would just go around and do stuff um, if somebody wanted to put me in a track, I would I would do it, and then I would go off and do whatever shows I could get to do where, here and there. Mm. And then um, what had happened as I as I formed my own company in 1998, I realized that I needed to to get into the business of music more. So what I did was I studied the business and know what it's all about, and then um, um, get into get get into it deeper. Deeper and deeper, and then I it's like I couldn't get out of it. <laughs> you can't, huh? No, I couldn't. So it drive it. Um, I was I was driven to 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 continue in the business, and then um, in I was on the road um, to 2006 with Michael Diamond and Tanta Metro and Davanti, and after all of that, I was so tired, and then I stopped off in New York instead of coming home to Jamaica, and there it hit me that I needed to do an album. Mm. I came back to Jamaica, um, attend when they revamped Reggae Sun Splash here, and uh, I was invited to Reggae Sun Splash by my very good friend, um, um, Steel, um, David Hines from Steel Pulse and Sydney Mills. Mm -hmm. And there I ran into Sil Garden from Cell Block Music Group. This was 2006, and he, um, he was saying to me, what, are, what am I doing? So I said, I just get back, you know, off the road with Macadama and Tantometo Tanta and Devanti, Devanti um, but I really want to do some tracks, and he gave me his business card. I didn't even call him up until 2008. <laughs> Two years. Uh, no, I called him up late 2007, and what happened um, I went, he said, I must come and see him. Uh, I, I called him up um, like a year after. And I went and, I went and see him in, in, in September of 2007. Um, he says to me, um, I'm going to play some tracks and you can listen. So I listen, and um, that's when I find the, the, the hit tune, Love You Pure, which is number two on the Spotlight album now, because um, he played me some tracks, and I was listening to a friend who was telling me um, that he was going through, through some things with his wife and stuff, and, um, and he was saying, boy, I'm really hurting, you know. So I, I, I took his story, and I went home, and I listened to the track, and I came up with a song called Love You Pure, and it goes something like this. I'll never be the one to hurt you. I'll never be the one to lie to you. I'll never be the one to stop loving you. I'll never be the one to get angry at you. Be the one to stop loving you I'll never be the one to get angry 
with you Who knows I will say these words But baby, when the rain fall I will cry with you And when the sun shine I will smile with you Cause I'm your woman I love you, love you baby Love you pure Love you, love you honey Until you just can't take no more So, in a sense, this was was this your first uh, song? No, that was my that was my biggest hit today. That's my signature song. Love your pure. My, yes, because that song went to that song earned me an e Emmy um, um, nomination here in Jamaica mm. for an award, and it also went number five here in the reggae charts, and it also hit the UK charts. Um, maybe the reason why you haven't, uh, um, people in the U.S. haven't heard about me much because I, di- I wasn't marketing there that much. I really went to Europe and Japan and Canada, really, because um, I, in my mind, I'm thinking that um, the U.S. is like here in Jamaica where people embrace that and so on. So I wasn't, I wasn't really um, um, marketing in the U.S. And as I watched the sale of my CD, let me step, I can see that um, it's not getting great support in the U.S. like how it's getting um, support in the rest of the world um, that, um, that I've marketed. You know, so I realized that I need to do a lot of groundwork in this state, if I may say that. And I know I have to do that, you know. But um, really and truly, that's why many people probably haven't heard of me in this state. Let me put it that way. You're not the first person I've heard say that they, they market their music to Japan and to Europe first. Yeah. yeah. The, the response to, well... In a sense, you're right. A lot of people think that the only uh, music in America that people want to hear is dancehall music. And yeah, that, that's that, like, I think dancehall and hip hop. I'm yeah. thinking that that's where it's at. And, right. um, and I don't know if I'm right, but as I said, as I look at the sale of how this my disc uh, is going, I'm not getting much support from 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 the state in, in sense of sale. So um, I don't know about the physical sale. Of, mm-hmm. Let me put it that way. But I know about the digital sale because I can monitor that. But uh, I know I'm not really getting much support on on, on that on, 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 on in the state. And as I said, it's because I haven't marketed my my stuff there. So I'm really looking forward to do a lot of lot more promotion and marketing there and right. I, I, you know right I can understand that because you know on the East Coast uh, dance hall is very strong and yes. uh, compared to say in the Midwest and even the yeah, West the Coast West, yeah because the West Coast is really um, reggae is really really doing well really really doing well because I stepped out there um, a while back um, just to, sh- to shoot the video for my leading track now of the, of the album which is called Week to You and um, I, I, was, I really got a lot of support um, while I was there doing so so I, I started looking in, I started doing some stuff on, on that side well you know actually this that you just mentioned Week to You yes and that was the song that I was you know, flipping as I do from time to time through various websites and uh, yeah. to get an idea of what's happening. And yeah. yes, you're right. The the, the music uh, that people listens to in in Europe and in Japan is completely different from the East Coast of uh, of America. But yeah. I heard I I I I was watching this uh, young lady and uh, I think there was a yellow dress. Yes, I was singing this <laughs> beautiful song, yes. and I said, "My God!" And I think normally by I by the time I halfway through uh, a video, I will click off. But I I actually watch it two times. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And this is the song. Yes. <laughs> 